I'm emergency physician Dr. Jess Mason here to show you three techniques for digital nerve blocks. But first, let's do some anatomy review. Each finger and each toe has two digital nerves on each side. The dorsal digital nerves are at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, and the volar digital nerves are at 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Remember that volar and palmar are the same thing, and these terms are annoyingly used interchangeably. Look at the innervation for the dorsal and volar nerves. You have to block both nerves on each side to get complete anesthesia of the entire finger. Specifically, look at the different nerve distributions of the thumb and small finger. For these fingers, if you're trying to anesthetize the distal phalanx, you have to anesthetize the dorsal nerves. This is in contrast to the distal phalanx of the second through fourth fingers, which are innervated by the volar nerves. When in doubt, just numb up both to get full anesthesia. For all of the techniques, the supplies you need are an antiseptic solution or alcohol prep pad, local anesthetic, a syringe, and a small gauge needle, such as 25 to 27 gauge. For the dorsal approach to a digital nerve block, we're always gonna start by prepping the skin, position the patient with their palm downward, and insert the needle at the dorsal web space. Advance the needle until it reaches the palmar aspect of the hand, but does not exit the palmar skin. We're not trying to skewer the finger. Aspirate and inject two to three mLs of anesthetic as the needle is withdrawn. This allows you to reach both the volar and the dorsal nerves with one injection, except you have to do a second injection because you have to repeat this on the other side of the finger. That's the downside. The volar approach is also called a transthecal block or flexor tendon sheath block since the anesthetic is injected into and spreads along the flexor tendon sheath. With the patient's hand resting palm up, insert the needle at the midpoint of the crease where the finger meets the palm, or just proximal to this over the metacarpal head, which is palpable. Advance the needle until you touch bone, and then back it off just a little bit. Aspirate and inject three mLs of anesthetic. This should anesthetize all four digital nerves, but a nice adjunct is to slightly withdraw and re-angle the needle tip towards each web space, delivering a little more anesthetic to each side. After the injection, the patient can hang their arm down, letting that anesthetic spread with gravity. The web space approach to a digital nerve block is quite simple, shown here on a toe instead of a finger. Once the skin is prepped, introduce the needle into the web space with the needle tip aiming right down the middle. Aspirate, then inject two to three mLs of anesthetic on each side. Ideally, this should anesthetize both the dorsal and volar digital nerves, especially since it's a small space.